in the last video we had left off over here inside our sign up uh, sign in component and uh, we simply uh, what we did was we created the view or the the visual representation of the sign in component and that was pretty much it so this is where we left off at and as you can see here everything's uh, um, looking great but nothing's working if I click here it doesn't do anything so what we want to do is we want to take this information from the user the email and password and then start sending it off to the server uh, for now let me just give you a quick view of how it looks so as you can see here this is the the laptop view if I make it as I make it smaller pay attention to this upper portion here and um, the, the the menu is going to change as the device size gets smaller and you see now we got the hamburger menu so this is like tablet size right here and I can continue getting smaller and smaller and then this right here is your mobile your mobile device view so I can even switch over to sign up component and we got the different background image and go back to the sign in and there you go alright so everything's looking great right now right but the view doesn't mean anything if it doesn't have any functionality with it right so let's go ahead and continue on with that all right so let's go here inside my notes um, I'm gonna start off right here with the client side validation and again as I mentioned in the previous video there's gonna be a lot of copy and pasting to from our sign up component because it's very similar so here sign client side validation so I'm gonna go over here swing over to my sign up component and copy copy this let's see I'm gonna copy from ba, 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 from uh, okay wait it's from here yes all right from here all the way to here all right go into my sign in component and right be below the prevent default I'll paste that right inside there and I'll copy or I'll delete this portion here and over here so beginning with the client side validation we don't need the username we can delete that all we need is the email and password so we can delete this password too there we go so we're checking if the fields are if any of them are empty um actually let me client side validation okay import. okay yeah good all right so i'm checking if these fields are empty and if there are we're going to send a message we are we also need this check here to see if the if the email is valid if it's not it's going to send them a message and this portion here which we needed for the sign up component it was comparing the 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 two passwords the first password with the confirmation password we don't need that inside our sign in component so we can delete that all right and here in our else block that's if everything succeeds we run this block of code here so let's see all right so let's go back here we took care of the validation so in our notes client side validation let's mark that off we need to import validator right we need, so let's go ahead to our sign up component and copy these two methods which is part of a library that we imp that we were using called validator and go into our sign in component and paste that right inside here because if we don't import that here these two methods which are part of the validator library we can't use that over here right inside our handle submit which we're using to validate so all right so there you go so we import the validator in our sign in client side api requests okay so let's go back to our sign in component right over here inside our else block um, okay so actually all right so let's go over here so here in the form data which is component state data we need to destructure whatever uh, the inputs that we're going to need to send off we just need it email password so let's remove the username and we're gonna 
create a variable data, which we're going to have ready to send our data inside. Okay, there you go. So now, and then here to set form, uh, set form data, we're going to set the loading to true so we can start the process uh, to show the icon to, to let the user know that to, to wait. And here, this is changes to sign in and we're passing the data as an argument. Okay, so this method here is our is our method for dealing with API requests and we need to create that. And that's part of this message here that I'm referring to, sign in client side API requests. So this method here, we're gonna create that. So if we go inside the API folder and the file called auth, which is related to authentication methods, we are going to copy this sign up method and paste that right side in here. Let's change the name to sign in. It's going to be asynchronous. We're getting back the data that's incoming from where it was called. The headers sending the same data, uh, same headers, and here's where we make our Axios request. And we just need to change this last portion from sign up to sign in. All right, so that's where the Axios request, HTTP request is gonna send off the data and send it off to the server. All right, so let's go off into our server file and that's portion right here. So it this portion is gonna match with the API request, API auth. So we're gonna go to this auth routes file. Uh, it's right inside here. We can copy the same uh, route as our sign up route, but we're going to change some things up, change this to sign in. We can change, we're going to change this validator name to sign in validator. And this sign up controller to sign in controller. All right, but we have to create those. So in for the sign in validator, let's open up our middlewares here and open up our file called validator. We're going to copy this here, paste that below, and change the name to sign in validator. And this first field here, we don't need that, which was for a username. For sign in component, we don't need that. All right, and that's it. Let's go back to our routes. So the middleware, we have that, but we need to import it. So right here, I'm going to do sign in validator, validate, validator. All right, so now we can use a sign in validator. Uh, let me mark off some things that I may, might have missed here. All right, so sign in client side API requests. All right, so we created the method already, which had our axials and our sign in route. We, we created the sign in route already. And we created the validator already for the sign in. All right, so now we need to work on this sign in controller. Okay, so the sign in controller right in here. And before we forget, let's actually go ahead and destructure it right in here. Let's go sign in controller. There we go. So we just have to create that inside the controllers um, folder. See controllers auth. When uh, here we have the sign up controller, we're gonna copy everything inside uh, everything there, and right below it, we're gonna paste that here. Change the name to sign in controller. As you can see, again, a lot of copy and pasting, but it's pretty much the same, so that's why. All right, so we'll delete everything inside there. And what I'm just for now, I'm just gonna do console log inside sign in controller. All right, so let's see, sign in controller. So we created that, all right. All right, all right. But one thing I forgot to do here inside my sign in component is that here I'm using this sign in method 
right in here, but ha I haven't imported it. So let me go ahead and import that. Import from, I've got to go back one directory into API folder, and it was called the auth file. And the method is called sign in. All right, so everything should work now. Check it out. All right, so if I go to my back end console over here, right now I don't have. Uh, I should expect below here, I'm gonna get this, the message inside our sign-in controller. It's gonna say this right here, sign-in controller, all right? So that's our that's gonna be our way of checking that everything worked out well. So let's go back here. The moment I click sign in, right, right here also, the input fields, everything is working. The, we're gonna have, we're now have a valid email and the password's valid, okay? So if I press sign in, this is loading. Go to the back end console and look what we get inside signing controller all right so everything worked out fine and in the next video we'll continue here with the signing controller but for now everything's working so uh, I'll see you in the next video